Esthesia Neuroblastoma, Wikipedia Audio Esthesia Neuroblastoma, also called Olfactory Neuroblastoma, is a rare cancer of the nasal cavity. Arising from the upper nasal tract, Esthesia Neuroblastoma is believed to originate from sensory neuroepithelial cells, also known as neuroectodermal olfactory cells. Fewer than 700 cases have been documented in the United States. Due to the location of the tumor and its proximity to the cranial cavity, esthesia neuroblastoma can be highly invasive and challenging to treat. There is no consensus on an appropriate treatment approach of esthesia neuroblastoma because of the rarity of the disease. Most studies reported cranial surgical resection with radiotherapy or chemotherapy to target the tumor. Esthesia neuroblastoma was first characterized in 1924. Esthesia neuroblastoma will first frequently present as a nasal mass. The most common signs and symptoms of esthesia neuroblastoma are nasal obstruction and epistaxis. Less common symptoms include hyposmia, headache, rhinorrhea, vision loss, proptosis, facial pain, diplopia, masses in the neck and changes in mental status. Esthesia neuroblastoma occurs in the upper nasal cavity, near the optic nerves and optic chiasm. Thus, tumor growth can impinge nerve function and result in vision loss and diplopia. As the tumor metastasizes to the oral cavity, there can be tooth pain and tooth mobility. Signs and Symptoms Esthesia neuroblastoma is of neurocrest origin, arising from olfactory sensory cells in the olfactory epithelium. The olfactory epithelium consists of olfactory sensory cells, sustentacular cells, and basal cells. Esthesia neuroblastoma consists of lobular sheets with neurofibrillar fibers and rosettes. HIAMS classifications are an important way of determining prognosis. Cancer is the mutation and unregulated cellular growth of tissues. There is limited research on the genetic role in esthesia neuroblastoma development. Of the research to date, the sonic hedgehog pathway, MIC, and KDR genes are implicated for esthesia neuroblastoma. HIAMS Histopathological Grades for Esthesia Neuroblastoma Esthesia neuroblastoma can resemble small blue cell tumors like squamous cell carcinoma, sinonasal undifferentiated carcinoma, extranodal NK T cell lymphoma, nasal type. Rhabdomyosarcoma, Ewing slash peanut, mucosal malignant melanoma, and neuroendocrine carcinomas that occur in the intranasal tract. Compared to other tumors in the region, esthesia neuroblastoma has the best prognosis, with an overall five year survival rate of 60 to 80 percent. Fewer than 700 cases have been documented in the United States alone. Esthesia neuroblastoma is characterized by neurofibrillary stroma and neurosecretary granules that are not seen concurrently by any other pathologies in the region. Histological tests such as keratin, CK5-6, S100 protein or NSE can be run to further differentiate esthesia neuroblastoma from other tumors. The preferred treatment for esthesia neuroblastoma is surgery followed by radiotherapy to prevent reoccurrence of the tumor. Several surgical approaches have been described, but post-excision recurrence rates have remained relatively high. Studies suggest better results with a bilateral approach. For cases with cribriform plate involvement, Tumors are resected bilaterally using a transfacial and craniotomy approach. In a research study, the craniofacial approach decreased reoccurrence of esthesia neuroblastoma by 20%.
Craniofacial resection can help preserve the optic nerves and brain while removing the cribriform plate, olfactory bulb, dura surrounding the bulb and even the orbital periosteum. Radiotherapy alone is reserved only for small lesions not appropriate for either surgery or chemotherapy. Both photon and proton radiotherapy have been used effectively to treat esthesia neuroblastoma. Proton radiotherapy has recently been shown to be effective in a 10-person study with Kadish C tumors, while delivering less toxicity to the nervous system. Chemotherapy is used in a multimodality treatment plan generally for more advanced, unresectable or reoccurring tumors. Cyclophosphamide, vincristine, and doxorubicin have been used as neoadjuvant chemotherapy drugs for grade C esthesia neuroblastoma before surgical resection, producing fair outcomes. Cisplatin and edaposide are often used to treat esthesia neuroblastoma as neoadjuvants or adjuvants with radiotherapy or surgery. Study results are promising. In advanced stage esthesia neuroblastoma in pediatric patients, where surgery is no longer possible, aggressive chemotherapy and radiotherapy has resulted in some tumor control and long-term survival. Esthesia neuroblastoma is a slow-developing but malignant tumor with high reoccurrence rates because of its anatomical position. The tumor composition, location, and metastatic characteristics as well as the treatment plan determine prognosis. Common clinical classification systems for esthesia neuroblastoma include the Kadish classification and the Dulgarav classification. Histopathological characteristics on top of Kadish classification can further determine cancer prognosis. In severe, Kadish class C tumors, Hames grades of pathology are important for prognosis. Patients with low-grade Kadish class C tumors have a 10-year survival rate of 86% compared to patients with high-grade class C tumors who have a survival rate of 28%. Surgically treated patients with high-grade tumors are more likely to experience leptomeningeal metastases or involvement of the cerebral spinal fluid unlike patients with low-grade tumors who usually only see local recurrence. Survival rates for treated esthesia neuroblastoma are best for surgery with radiotherapy, then for radiotherapy and chemotherapy, just surgery, surgery, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy and finally just radiotherapy. From the literature, radiotherapy and surgery seem to boast the best outcome for patients. However, it is important to understand that to some degree, prognosis is related to tumor severity. More progressed. Higher grade tumors would result in chemotherapy or radiotherapy as the only treatment. It is no surprise that the prognosis would be worse in these cases. The Kadish classification is used for clinical classification of sinonasal tumors including esthesia neuroblastoma. Subsequent research articles have been published to determine prognosis based on tumor grade. Pathophysiology Modified Kadish Classification Dulgarav Classification Esthesia neuroblastoma accounts for 2% of all intranasal tumors with an incidence of 0.4 cases per million people. Fewer than 700 cases of esthesia neuroblastoma have been seen in the U.S. since 1988. Fewer than 400 unique cases have been reported globally. Esthesia neuroblastoma can occur at any time, with peak occurrence reported in the second and sixth decade of life. The disease was brought into prominence by the case of Chantal Sebire, who was suffering from the disease and ended her life after being denied euthanasia. Diagnosis Treatment Surgical Approaches Radiotherapy
Chemotherapy Prognosis Classification Incidence and Prevalence Notable Cases